this is Tim with Marine Diagnostic Tools. Today we're hooked up to a 2015 Evinrude E-Tech 250 high output. We're using a Kajali jaw test. We're hooked up with the JDC 609M. On this specific cable, you have to run this cord to the battery. Okay, so we've already pulled up the outboard motor list. We're gonna go ahead and hit Evinrude. We'll scroll down here to the E-Tech high output. And we'll come down here to the 250. If you go to this funnel looking tab, this will bring up your connection and it'll show you that cord going to the battery cables. If you hit the plus sign, it'll also bring up the different pictures and the instructions close that out. So that's what we're using. We'll go ahead and hit connect. Sometimes it'll take a minute to connect. So it'll come up, this first page will be system identification. And we'll hit diagnosis. This will bring up your codes. And it's just telling you there's some unknown errors that have been detected. I'll we'll just accept. Um, that's a feedback you can send JAL test. And they usually get back with you within 24 hours of what's going on, whether the software needs to be developed more or problems or development or anything like that. So here's the codes that'll come up. You can notice they're X'd out in gray, and that is non-present. On the bottom, it'll show you present error, non-present, or others. Uh, we'll do this one. You can double click. It'll bring up the freeze frame for that error. error. <coughs> Excuse me. And then if you click on the help and components of there, that'll give you some more information. Uh, we'll go on this one. This will bring up the freeze frame and then your helping components. It'll also give you the number of that component and where to find it on the wiring diagram. So if you click the wiring diagram, it'll pull up where exactly it's at. And it should be faded out with a blue. And you can double click on that. And it'll give you the picture and what the power supply is supposed to be, operating range, output signal, and resistance values. Close that out. So we'll go to system technical data. This will give all give you your uh, general data, your oil pressure switch, and oil pressure sensors, exhaust gases. Um, that'll go to your components. This will bring up your components. If you click one, it'll give you configurations. Um, sometimes it'll give you a drawing or a picture, like that throttle valve position sensor. And you can scroll down through there and it'll give you all those. Um, there's a coil information. Um, your diagrams, that's going to bring your diagrams. If you hover over, it'll give you information. It'll give you a red dot of where that's located, the uh, stator. And just different components on this. There's your oil injector. You can go to vessel service data. You can select that. That will give you your technical release, your general information, your service intervals, your first maintenance service. If you go to vessel technical data, that will give you information on the engine. There's your capacity, your oil viscosity. Um, your engine, that will give you cylinder bore and stroke. I'll scroll down give you a little diagram of that. There's your generic information, fuel system, and general electrical system transfer case. And then you can go to your troubleshooting by symptoms. That'll give you all your information if you're having a problem with the engine. 
and you click on that section, it'll it'll give you a step by step of what to do. Um, there's your irregular idle. It give you step one, you know, and walk you through basic troubleshooting. So we'll go back to the diagnosis menu. We'll click out of that. So on this menu, if you can clear errors. This will give you system data, the ECU data. Uh, we'll click on that so you guys can see that one. And that's all your information on the ECU. Uh, this will be your parameters. If you're going to display parameters, uh, modify parameters, they'll give you an expert code. And you'll have to plug in expert code in order to modify any of those. Um, there's your measurements. We'll go ahead and do the measurements. Um, we'll select all to make it easy. You can either hit this hourglass and I'll bring it up as your regular displayed numbers. Or you can go back and you can put it on this gauge, and this will bring it up as in a gauge form. Okay, so um, your system display this is kind of a cool feature. Brings you up this nice little picture, gives you running, running temperatures and pressures. You go to actuate components, there you have your injectors, ignition coils. Uh, we'll go ahead and run the fuel pump so you guys can see it going you should be able to hear it in the background and on this one you have to turn it on and you can cut it off and that will run your fuel pump and check operation on that just go to system checks that's where you do your cylinder cut off and your oil pump and check your leds your maintenance that'll give you the engine break in and on this, obviously, it's the calibration, throttle position, adjust the trim limit, and your operational data on this engine. Uh, we can do the total data, operation times, and that'll pull that information up. Uh, let's see what else I want to show you. System checks. That's that's pretty much it. You know, all your systems are on the side here. What what information you want to look at. Um, and then if you want to change it to keyboard, you need the keyboard for that, you can do it on this tab right here. If you want to take a screenshot, send it back to Gajali, you can do it that way or for your own records. Um, there's your diagnosis report preview and um, your social networks and web pages. This GRP, this is the garage. garage resource planning so you can log all your information there's your reports information your workshop management reception and human resources so if you want to have that you can do that also so this is a Kajali Jal test this is on a 2015 Evinrude e 250 high output and this is Tim with Marine Diagnostic Tools thanks for watching